Hi, my name is Donald. I'm the trainer here at Phillips Foods. Today we're going to put a spin on a classic, Oysters Rockefeller. So let's get started. So if you know anything about Oysters Rockefeller, it's a classic dish. We're not going to do it the traditional way, but we're going to do it in a modified way using a product from Phillips Foods. The product we're using is the crab, spinach, and artichoke dip. It comes in bags like this. We thawed it out to prep it. The other items that you're going to need is going to be Parmesan cheese. Everything's better with bacon. A little bit of butter, some lemon wedges, and of course oysters. So let's start by getting our oysters shucked. When it comes to shucking oysters, a lot of people have a fear of that. There's a few things that you want to keep in mind when it comes to shucking oysters. One, if you're really squeamish about it, it's always good to have a safety glove. This glove is designed to help you not uh, cut yourself when shucking oysters. I roll the towel this way so that I can lay the oyster there and give myself a little bit of leverage. Now the oyster has two different features. It has a top and it has what's called the cup. For the point, purpose of Oysters Rockefeller, we're going to use the cup. Now I've already cleaned and debarnacled the oysters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get them right here. I'm going to get a little leverage. I'm going to take my shucking knife and I'm going to go right in the hinge. And once you go in the hinge, it's not about jamming it. You just basically twist do a little twist right inside and you'll get what looks like this. Now, inside the oyster, there is what's called an abductor muscle that holds the lid on. You're gonna scrape across the top of the shell to get that released. And then there you have the shell, which we'll discard, or you could use it for decorations. But now you have a beautiful oyster and we're gonna cut the bottom piece as well, the bottom abductor muscle. And there you have a beautiful oyster sitting in the cup. We're going to go ahead and do this to five more oysters. And there we have it. Six beautiful oysters ready for Oysters Rockefeller. Now let's get to the fun part. We've shucked the oysters, pretty much the hardest part. What we're going to do, we're going to get our griddle going because to make this extra tasty, we're going to add bacon to this. And if you've ever had bacon with your Oysters Rockefeller, and some of you make your Oysters Rockefeller with bacon anyway, then you know it's delicious. Everything's better with bacon. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our griddle going. We got it going, gonna get it nice and hot. We're gonna take two strips of this bacon. Now the bacon that we have here, this is some pepper smoked bacon. So just to add a little, another, another layer of flavor to it, and we're just gonna let that get started. Now while our bacon is starting to cook, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and prep our oysters. This is the real trick. This is where the real key comes in. What we're gonna to use to prep it is our Phillips crab, spinach, and artichoke dip. What we're gonna do, we're gonna open this crab and spinach dip up, take a little corner of it. We're gonna pipe it out of this bag right onto the oyster. So we've already, we've already let this thaw out. And we're gonna take just about that much. We're gonna put it on top of the oyster. We're gonna do that for each of the oysters. And we'll show you what this looks like when we, we get it finished. Now I'm being a little heavy handed because I like them nice and juicy and plump. And this will probably also be my dinner. Now we're gonna take those oysters. As you can see, we've piped out a little bit of the crab, spinach and artichoke dip on each of them. And we're going to sit them on a little sheet pan, a little baking tray. And what we're going to do, we're just going to smooth it out a little bit with our spoon. We left a little bit over there. And I think you can already see where we're, where we're going with this. Now, you can see that we've taken the oysters and we've put, them, put the crab spinach and artichoke dip on them. You can probably hear that bacon going. So here we go. 
and keep this bacon going. Now we're not gonna cook the bacon all the way done because we want some of it, we want it to finish somewhat in the oven with the dip, okay? Put our bacon right here on the cutting board. Now you can do this a ton of different ways. This is just a recipe that I'm trying, that I would like to share with you that works really well. We're gonna chop our bacon up. We're gonna chop it up coarse because we, we kind of want nice chunks of bacon. Just about there, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our butter, and what we wanna do is just make our cheese a little stickier. We're gonna add some bacon in there, and we want it to be rough, we want it to have chunks, and we want it to have flavor, and we want it to have a lot of bacon, okay? So we're gonna take that. Meanwhile, we're gonna cut this off. We're gonna go ahead and fire our oven up to, we wanna get that to about 400 degrees. So we're taking generous portions of bacon and cheese with a little bit of butter in it, and we're prepping the oyster. You talk about delicious, because that butter's gonna melt, the cheese is gonna melt with it. You're gonna get a little bit of that bacon fat in there. And we're even going to show you how we would how we would prep that to, to push it out. Now you got a couple little pieces of bacon here. We want that too, because we want all that we can get. Important thing with the Rockefeller, you're not cooking the oyster to done. You're basically just warming it through just a little bit. It's still somewhat a raw oyster. You could almost like it's like a blanched oyster. Last little thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little spritz of lemon juice. Just a little spritz, just to brighten it up over top. And that'll just soak in with all those other flavors. Brighten up the oyster, brighten up the oyster flavor. Really nice. So now you can see, you can see our oysters are nice and topped and ready. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop those right into our oven that's at temp. We're gonna let all that delicious goodness melt and come, come all together as a flavor and we'll come back to you and let you see how that is. They're just about ready to come out the oven now. It's been about eight minutes, maybe give or take a minute and it's about all you wanna do. It depends on where you wanna get your bacon, where you wanna get your cheese melted, but let's take a look at what we have inside. Let's go in and get those oysters out. There you have it folks, it's simple. Very easy recipe. What we did, we put a bed of salt here on a plate. Basically, we're gonna get those oysters out. What the salt does is it gives it a good platform that it won't rock and roll around. We're gonna garnish it with a cocktail fork and a lemon. So there you have it folks, oysters Rockefeller with a twist. Made with Phillips crab, spinach, and artichoke dip as your main ingredient. A little bit of bacon, cheese, and butter. Put on top of the oyster in the, in the oven about eight minutes and out it goes. Beautiful, good food for good people. Thanks for coming. Wow, look at that little, little piece of bacon left over. You know, we can't have that.